Madeline here? Yes. Madeline, do you have earmuffs on or what? Yes. Take your earmuffs off. Let's get ready to do the punches. Okay, so the format that we've been working on and with everybody coming up with a different self-defense technique is working really good. So everybody keep aware of that and sometime during class I'm going to call on you to do a self-defense technique. On the other part of the class, let's work on one of the katas. Um, we'll do one soon. So everybody get into a left front stance hands in the right hand position. I'm going to go over this slow for Madeline. So Madeline, stay right with me. Okay, so this is the very end of the column. Last set. Step forward, elbow. Turn around, elbow behind you. Defensive front kick. Turn around behind you. Defensive front kick. Okay, again. So the thing we want to work on on this last set is the big step. So, Madeline, stay with me. You take a step forward, but not just a normal step, a longer step, an elbow. So when you turn around, you have to pull back into a cat stance, and that's the elbow. Then defensive front kick the other way and put your foot forward. So that when you turn around, you have to pull back into the cat stance. And then kick from the cat stance, land in the front stance. Finish. Alright, so we'll start in that position. Left front stance. I'm going to count to the, to the end of the form. Ready? One. Again, two, <laughs> three, 
Madeline, let's go. Stop moving the camera and get up there and do it. Three. Good job. All right, keep doing it. Get back there. This time, try to go stronger. Four. Okay. That one. Watch me for a second. So when I'm doing these techniques, I'm imagining another person exactly my size. So when I do the elbow, I'm doing the elbow into somebody's chin that's my height. I'm not reaching up for somebody a lot taller than me. When I turn around and do the elbow behind me, I'm hitting them right here. So I'm aiming right there with the elbow. Guys, don't stretch up way taller than you are like it's an adult. Do it like it's another man. All right. Everybody again in a left front stance. All right, on your own count, go. Good job, Madison. Get ready again. Do it again. Ask me your camera's not on. Asa, give yourself a little more room and off those kicks, do longer steps. Good idea. Go ahead. Couple more times, everyone. All right, rest for a second. Madeline, mute your microphone. Okay, so I'm going to start everybody off on the self-defense technique. Those of you that came in while we were practicing that last set, except for Madison and Madeline, everybody else be prepared to do a self-defense technique. All right. Let's start with uh, stepping back with your right foot, upper blocking with your left. Slide back into a cat stance, defensive front kick, punch. Again, watch me. I'm going to step back into a front stance and block. And I'm going to change this into a cat stance and pull my arm down to here. Defensive front kick, reverse. Okay, let's watch Kelly do it. Good. There was some question about stepping direction. So you're stepping backwards and you step back with your right foot. All right, ready, everyone. One. Two. Three.
Madison, Madison, stop for a second. Come to ready position. Madison, come to ready. Come to ready, Madison. She's not hearing me. Okay. Everybody keep practicing. All right, rest. Okay, so we're going to take Wan Su. We practice the last set of Wan Su, so we're going to back up one set. Let's see if I figure out how to do that. All right, so you're going to start in a left front stance. Watch me do it first. I'm in a left front stance. Left leg in front, left hand up in the front. Madison and Madeline get into this position. Left front stance, left punch up. Don't move now, watch. Come up, move over. Snap side kick, switch your guard, snap side kick, land at attention. Switch your hands and step forward. This is a long set. Watch me do it again. Come up. This arm hasn't moved. Now your arm and leg move at the same time. Then the last set. Okay, so everybody start the left punch. I'm going to count one, two. On one, you're going to do this set, which is the ninth set. One. Two. Last set. Good. Again. One. <laughs> Two. Go at me. <laughs> Very good. All right. The end of one. Try to do the last move really strong. At the end of two, try to do that last move as strong as you can. You ready again, Anthony? Let's go. Get up. One. <laughs> two. Good. Madison, can you hear me? She can't hear me. No. All right. Everybody practice it on your own. Madeline, get up and practice. All right, Rust. Marjorie, I have you up to do a self-defense technique.
to the left of the middle block, same hand, four knuckle punch, cross step kick. Okay. So block, four knuckle punch, step. So that's very much like the one we do for blue belt, except Marjorie's blocking and punching with the same hand. Everybody do it this time with her. Come on, Madeline, get ready. One. Just to be clear, you're moving to the left. Block him with the right. Go ahead, Mark. Two. Three. Four. Good work, Ethel. Nine. <laughs> okay. We'll take one suit back. Now, what we're going to end up is with the shin strike. So what we're going to end up doing is doing both of the shin strikes. So we're here. Let me talk you through it first. I'm in a right front stance punching. I just did block, knee, punch. I look up the middle. I bring my feet together. Right foot shin strike. Left, right punch. I'm up. Left leg shin strike. Right, left. Then we're back to where we left off. On the side. So we're here. We're right front stance with my left hand up in the front. Going towards the camera, bring your right foot up. Right leg chin strike. Double punch. Left foot up. Left leg chin strike. Double punch. Side kicks, nine. Ten. Good. Go to the starting spot. Everybody stay still for a second. Turn around, ask me, and face the other way. Put your other hand up in the punch. Now look towards the camera. Ready? The first chin scrape. One. Come up. Two. Now the side kicks. Three. Good kicks. Four. Good. Back to the starting spot. Back up a little bit more. I have to make sure you have more room so you don't run into the camera. One. Two. Side kicks, three. Finish, four.
Got to finish harder, Asa. Get in the habit. Of always finish really strong. Don't ease up on the very end. You get in the habit of doing that, and then you'll do it when you're testing or when you're competing. Because you don't, you're going to be in it when you're competing, and so or testing. So you don't stop and think about, oh, I need to go strong here at the end. You do what you practice. So if you practice backing off that last move, that's the way you've been doing it. Right? So you want to make a habit, finish really strong. All right, go back to the starting spot. One. Two. Three. Four. All right, one more time on count when you finish. One. Two. Three. Four. Good work, Asa. All right, unmute yourself and do a self-defense technique for everybody. Okay. We're going to do a knife block, step into your right. We're going to do an overhead um, long round knife strike and a round kick. I'm going to do it once. One, two, three. Good combination. All right, everyone, so he's stepping with his right foot and blocking with his left. Everybody do that. Now he's ridging with his left and then round kicking with his left. All right, I'll talk you through it again because Kelly's having a problem with it. So let's try it again. You step into your right, blocking with your left. Then ridge hand with your left, and then round kick with your left. It's all on the same side. All right, Madison just came back in, so everybody watch Asa as he does this combination. Go. Block, ridge hand, round kick. All right, uh, Asa, let me take the count because I can see everybody. And so if somebody needs to slow down, I can slow it down. Okay. All right, ready? One. Two. Good job, Lenny. So while I'm setting up the next person, what Lenny did was he moved off of his cat stance and used his hip movement to throw that ridge hand. Four. Five. Good. You can't throw them all at the same time, right, at me? So that's why you're practicing it. Because that one sort of was like a little fumbled up because you tried to do everything together. It's one, two, three. Can you hear me now, Madison? Yes? No? Yes. Okay, get ready, Madison. Let me help you. Okay, so step to your right, knife block. 
No, don't block to your right. Block the other way. So you step to your right. That's right. Step that way. Block the other way. Block the other way. That's right. Now, with that hand that you just blocked with, you're going to just like reach up and smack somebody in the side of the head with a ridge hand. That's it. And then with that same side of your body, round kick. The same side. There you go. All right, let's try the whole thing. Ready? Step to your right, block to your left. Ridge hand. Round kick. Very good. And this isn't an easy one. You're doing it really good. All right. You got it? Everybody. Ready? One. Go ahead. There you go. Good job. I'm going to count one time and do the whole thing. Madeline, you ready? Two. Two. Got to be ready, Madeline. Three. Good job again, Lenny. You're the only one that picked up that lateral move on the ridge hand. That's good. Four. Now Angie's got it. <laughs> Do some on your own. Go. Okay, everybody rest. All right, so we're working our way from, we worked our way backwards in one, two. So uh, the, the next two sets behind what we've done so far are the, the sets right after the throw. So you can end up like this. I'm in a fourth stance with my left shoulder facing the camera. Right, don't do it yet. Watch me. So I'm going to pivot. Big step, knife block, knee, punch. Pivot. Look. Big step, knife block, knee, punch. Looking this way, bringing your feet together. Right leg, chin straight, straight first, double punch. And then that's where we went from there. So Kelly's going to start in the throw position. She's in a horse stance with her left shoulder facing the camera. All right, everybody watch her go through this one time before we count for everyone. Pivot. One. Pivot. Two. Look. Three. Four. Five. Six. All right, so everybody get into the horse stance with your left shoulder facing the camera. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Hup. 
six. That's good enough, Madison. That's good. All right. You did really good. The camera's, I could see your head moving, but I can't see you. So the camera's tilted too far up. There you go. All right, everybody, let's try it again. Get into a horse stance sideways to the camera, Madison. Good work. Ready, pivot. One. Don't rush. Look the other way. Two. Three. Hold still. Hold still. Put that punch back up. Don't rush. That's why I'm counting them separate. Each one of these is like a separate story. Four. Boom, boom. Hold it. Five. Six. Very good. Don't think so much, Madison. Just go ahead and go through it. You stopped a couple times and hesitated and thought about it, but it didn't change the way that you did it. You still did it the same way you would have done it, even if you didn't think about it. Right? So we all have to do that. That's part of making yourself keep going and go through it. Don't worry about the thought. All right, let's try it again. On your own count, go. Keep going. Do it on your own a little bit. Okay, everybody rest. David, I have you up on the screen. Give everybody a minute, and then uh, let's do another self-defense combo. Yes, sir. David, make sure that when you start, you tell them which direction you're stepping and which hand you're blocking with. Yes, sir. Okay, deep breaths. Good. <laughs> That's enough breaths. <laughs> okay, I'm starting. Starting from a ready position. Uh, when my attacker comes towards me, I'm going to go to my left, to the middle block. Okay. With your right. With my right. Yes. Doing a middle block with my right, round kick, followed with a stepping side kick. Same leg, right leg. Okay, from from the beginning, 
Going to our left, head with a middle block, round kick, stepping side kick. All right, take the count. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good. Above the belt, that's me. Ready? Six. Either way, Madison. Do it one way or the other. Seven. Come on, kill it. And then kick again. Come on, don't be confused. Block and kick twice. Hold on a second, David. Yes, sir. All right. I'm not muted. All right, Madison, let's see it. Block. Now round kick with that leg. And then step up and side kick like you're breaking the board. Pow. That's it. Do it again. Ready? Go. Good work. All right, everybody on your own count. Go. All right, rest. So that's a good combination, especially in sparring, running somebody down with a round kick, side kick. Kelly was analyzing the technique, and she said, well, we don't have enough room. But it's the same thing as if I'm going to throw somebody when I'm doing self-defense. I'm going to tell them ahead of time I'm going to throw you, especially on the single line. But even with a partner, I'm not going to just surprise my partner and throw them. I'm going to tell them ahead of time that I'm going to throw them. If I wanted to do um, a block and this double mic strike and then follow it up with a front kick, I'd have to tell my partner, when I hit you with this double mic strike, back up. So that I have enough room that I can throw the kick instead of just knocking him instead of just knocking him back. So like there, Kelly didn't step back. So if I was practicing for a test, I'd say, "Listen, when I hit you with that double light hand, give me room enough to throw a kick, or I'm going to hit you with the kick." Then she'll work. Oh, then if I go like this, she'll back up, so I have room to throw the kick. So you can't surprise them. Same thing with what you just did. If you were doing a self-defense technique with a partner, you tell them, I'm going to round kick you and then back up so that I can practice my side kick. Okay. All right. So we uh, worked on the from the end of Wansu, we started working backwards. We've done this before in another class. We're getting closer to the end of class, so let's go the other way. 
So, starting from the beginning of the kata, everybody come to attention. Respect. Ready position. So, the first set is this. Okay. And everybody in this class is familiar with this kata. Madison, if you're a little rusty on it and you make some mistakes, don't stop and think about it. Just keep going and try to do the best you can. If it's not exactly perfect, at least you practice. And next time it'll be a little bit sharper. And that's me. I know you're having problems with your brother running underneath your legs. So, same thing. You want to try to do the very best you can. Everybody come to attention. Respect. Ready. One, two. Now, we broke it up into sets working backwards so that you wouldn't run all this together. So each set should be individual and strong as you're going through it. Begin. All right, everybody rest for a second. Eth me, eth me. Do the very beginning, back up a little bit. And stay on your feet. Do the beginning, do the beginning of the cop. All right, so hold still, go back to that punch. All right, now the next part of this, do it when I say it. Downward block, punch, step forward, middle block, grab, grab, punch. All right, so that's like a sentence at me. Do it again. Downward block, punch, step forward, middle block. Grab, punch. So at school, when you're writing a sentence, at the end of the sentence, there's a period. So at the end of this piece, there's a period. Then when you go the other way, there's a period at the end of that. Hold still for a second and listen to me. When you do the side kicks, the last move is the period. So you don't want to run it all together because you're, you're running through the periods. It's like you're reading the paragraph, but you're not stopping at the periods. You understand? All right. Everybody get ready to practice again. So make sentences out of each side. And at the end of each sentence, go really hard. Not really fast. Really hard. Go. There you go. Perfect. Good job, Madison. Excellent. Very good, Madison. I can tell from your body tightening up what you're doing. I can't see you because the camera's up too high. All right, let's try it again. Madison, can you move your camera down a little bit so I can see you? A little more. 
A little more. Now we have most of you instead of most of the staircase. All right, let's try it again. Ready? Go. Very good, Madison. Good focus. Very good. All right, everybody's back. All right, so what we worked on today is breaking the kata up into sets. And when you're doing the whole kata from the beginning to the end, that's the challenge of doing kata. If you just ran through it without putting periods on the end of each set, then you would just have a jumble of movements, and it would be quick and you'd be going through it, but there'd be no focus, tightness, or practice of technique. You're just sort of like brushing through them. So by putting periods on the end of the set, you're practicing defining and making the technique sharp. I mean, Madison and Esme, Madeline were doing a great job on, on that. We're also practicing that same thing in a shorter version when we're doing self-defense. So when Kelly punches at me, and I block, punch, elbow, I'm practicing the same thing. That bang, bang, and really hard at the end of the set. It's easier to do in self-defense because I have a body standing there in front of me, and I'm only doing three techniques, a block, a punch, and an elbow in that case. When you're doing a kata, you're doing a bunch of those strung together. 